What is a generational case? A generational case. It is a case that passed from one generation to another generation with the same problems recurring from one generation to another. This is what happens when someone saw something and the other generations begin to reap the repercussions of that action. Today we are going to talk about breaking generational cases. That is our message today. Breaking generational cases. What is a generational case? Please write it down. A generational case. It is a case that passes from one generation to another with the same problems recurring from one generation to another. A generational case it is a case that passed from one generation to another generation with the same problems recurring from one generation to another. This is what happens when someone saw something and the other generations begin to reap the repercussions of that action. This is when someone saw something and the other generation begins to reap the repercussions of such an action. You mean you need to remember, people of God, that every action that we take when it comes to the kingdom of God it serves as a seed. Everything that you do, no matter after how long, you will reap it. So here from what I'm explaining when we talk of generational case this is what happens when someone sows something and the other generation begins to reap the repercussions of that action. Are you still following me? Proverbs 3.33 Proverbs 3.33 Proverbs 3.33 The Bible says the curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked but he blesses the home of the just the curse of the lord is, is on the house of the wicked but he blesses the home of the just the curse of the Lord is on the home of the wicked. I mean, it's on the house of the wicked. So this means, people of God, the Bible makes it clear that when a curse falls upon a man, the does not fall upon him or her as an individual. 
The Bible says the case comes on the house of the wicked. It means when a curse falls on your house, it will not only affect you, it is going to affect you your children and the generation yet unborn. It says Siri. the curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, not the curse of the Lord is on the wicked. Come on, church. Are you following me? The Bible says the curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, not the curse of the Lord is on the wicked. Are we together? No, people of God, when we read the Bible, in the book of Exodus chapter number 20, verse 5, the Bible makes it clear that the lifespan of a curse lasts up to four generations. When a curse comes upon you, it will not only affect you but it will affect you and the three generations after you let us take it in scripture Exodus chapter number 20 verse 5 Exodus 20 verse 5 the Bible says you shall not bow down to them nor serve them for I the Lord the God, the Lord your God, I'm a jealous God. Listen to this part. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. Please come to Oseke wa di sebeleza. Hobane mm. na Jehova. Mutimo wa hao. Ke mutimo obo ulela. O otamba na kabo hopo baba tswa di babona. Huisa muluko nwabararu. Le wabune wabantoya. This means up to four generations can be carrying the consequences of their apparent sin. The lifespan of a generational case. It lasts up to at least four generations. I hope somebody is learning something. I hope you are following me. I want to open your eyes. I want to make an examples with scriptures so that you may understand. When a case is in operation, please open with me the book of Genesis chapter number 12. Genesis uh, chapter number 12. We'll start our reading from verse 11 to 13. Genesis chapter 12 verse 11 to 13. Oh God, help your people. The Bible says, and it came to pass when he was close to entering Egypt, that he said to Sarai, his wife, indeed, I know that you are a woman of a beautiful countenance. That means his wife was what? Beautiful. Can somebody say beautiful? That is Abraham's wife, Sarai. She was beautiful. Therefore, it will happen when the Egyptians see you that they will say this is his wife and they will kill me but they will let you live please say you are my sister that it may be well with me for your sake and that 
I may live because of you. Please read it for us. Hi, Fumanile Ebale Achina. It's a ha asaya and a repeta. Arhosa Rai, Mosadi Wahai, Bonashe, Kiatseba Hoba, or Mosadi Amotle Hotading Wing. Etare Haba Hepita Bobona, Bayari, and like a Mosadi Wahai, Me Bampulai, Impa and Abau Lesele Opile. Thirteen. Ohle ore o khaitse diaka ke tle ke etswe hantle ka bakala ha o me moya wa ka o phile ka bakala ha o Hallelujah Are we still together church Amen. Now this is Father Abraham Jale yena ke ntate Abraham He is entering the land of Egypt O tena le fatsin la Egypta The Bible says he sinned Bible ru ona a yentse dibi He sinned and he lied Me ona a tadile maka He used his wife A sebedi sa mosadi wa ha e to speak a lie Ho bua maka He said to his wife please when they ask you say that you are my sister so that they may not kill me in other words people of god what we see here is that abraham lied to survive he lied and said his wife was his sister and when this time when this thing was happening people of God Abraham and his wife were barren they had no child at that time when this incident happened they were not yet blessed with a child. Now, when the time went by, the Lord blessed them with their firstborn called Isaac. I believe all of, all of us know that. Isaac was then born when this incident that happened to Abraham happened Isaac was not yet conceived but years later after he was born I want us to look at something that happened to Isaac let us turn our Bibles to the book of Genesis 26 verse 7. As you are still going there, I want to remind you something. I said to you, people of God, when a generational curse comes, it comes, I mean, it happens when someone saw something and the other generation begin to reap the repercussions of that action. Are we together? Genesis 26 verse 7. Now this is Isaac. Isaac has been born. This is their firstborn. He is now old. He is a man who is now married. The Bible says, And the man of the place asked his wife. And he said, Listen to what Isaac is saying. She is my sister. For he was afraid to say she is my wife. Because he thought the least men of the place will kill me for Rebecca because she is beautiful to behold. Hmm. <laughs> Please read it for us. Hi Fuma Nile Ebalea Jena. Hoba batu bamote bamote hodima mosadi wa hai. Areke kai sedi yaka. Hobane ole ataba hori ke mosadi wa ka. Itle isi ke ya rumusumu mbatu ba mose bata mmolaya. Kaba kala ribeka. Hobane ole alimutle hotadi nwe. 
People of God, let us remember that when Father Abraham lied, the first generation. He lied with his beautiful wife. Now his son, the Bible says he also lied to survive. The Bible says he lied with his beautiful wife. I want to remind you something on this note. When you read Genesis 29 verse 17, the Bible says, Leah's eyes were delicate, but Rachel was beautiful of form and appearance. If you remember well, people of God, when Isaac wanted to marry, they wanted to give him Leah. But he fought. Because this is not what was aligned to his bloodline. His father in their bloodline married a beautiful wife. So when they gave him Leah, he denied. Because he felt she was not aligned to her bloodline. Some people will just think it was just a coincidence. It was a spiritual thing. From the scripture we have just read right now, I want to believe your eyes are starting to open. Because Father Abraham lied to survive. He lied with his beautiful wife. The second generation, which is Isaac, his son. Isaac also lied to survive. The Bible says when he lied, he lied with his wife. Later on, Isaac also had a child. Which is the third generation. He had a son by the name of Jacob. Remember he had Jacob, he also had Esau. Right? Amen. Right? Amen. Yes. Esau. Esau. He had Esau. The Bible says when you read Genesis 27, please write it down and read it when you get home. The Bible says Jacob lied and stole his brother's blessing. When you read Genesis 27, you realize that the bless that that Jacob stole the blessing of Esau. How bala buka ya Genesis 27 of umana hore Isaac with with the tunnel of Esau. He pretended to be his brother. I get that Him and his mother they lied. Yena le mewa hai ba kapa maka. When his father asked you, are you are you Esau? He said, yes, I'm Esau. He became so selfish also and lied to survive. A generational case. People of God, this issue of a generational case as I'm sharing it. I'm teaching it like this 
Because I want you to be looking in your bloodline. Because some of you, in fact, most of you in this place, in your family, when you reach a certain age, people begin to die. People begin to die. And to most of you, you look into it, you think it is a normal thing, but you don't know that it is a generational case. Most of you, people of God, when you look into yourself, the disease that is in your body, it is the same disease that killed your mother. The same disease that killed your grandmother. But I want to tell you today that it ends with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that as the Lord heal you today as we fight and pray may he not only heal you, but may that generational case of sickness end with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May it not affect your children. May it not affect your children's children. I hope from what I'm teaching, somebody's eyes are opening. Because some of you, you see, most of you, some of you, in fact, in your families, it is true you get a job. You get a job, but you do not last. You and your brothers and sisters. All of you, you get a job. Before you know it, you lose your job. Some of you, in fact, nobody have ever got a job in your family. You even think it's normal and it is a way of life. It is a curse. And this weekend it is your weekend for freedom. People of God, this thing of lying was very serious in this family. In the book of Genesis chapter number 13 Chapter number 18, verse 13 to 15. Buke nya chanese chapter 18, verse 14 to 15. Genesis 18, verse 13. Genesis 18, verse 13 to 15. The Bible says, And the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I surely be a child, since I am old, my God? Is anything too hard for me, the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you according to the time of life. And Sarah will have a son. But Sarah denied it, saying, I did not love. She lied. For she was afraid. And she said, no, but you did love. But and he said, No, but you did laugh. Please read it for us. Hai fumanile e balea jina. Yaba Jehova or Abraham. Yes. Kikaba kalansa raha atea. Ari. Seka kaniti nkabeleha. Hai lumo kisufeti. Seka taba iteng eka sita in Jehova. Kanna ko e bailing. Keta hutle la huena, hasil mo sebuya, mesara o tabale mora, emba sara ala tola ari, haki akaka teha, hobane une ataba, meje hofa ari che, uilewa teha. She lied. Akala maka. That is the wife in the first generation. 
The wife to father Abraham. She lied to God. As a wife. Both of them they had a son. With father Abraham. The name of their son was Isaac. And Isaac had a wife called Rachel. I want us to go to Genesis 31. Genesis 31 we will read verse 34 to 35. The Bible says, Now Rachel had taken the household idols, put them in the camel's saddles, and sat on them. And Laban searched all about the tent, but did not find them. That is her father, right? And she said to her father, Let it not displease my Lord that I cannot rise before you. For the manner of women for of women is with me. And he searched but did not find the household idols. Hai fumanile ebalejana. Rachele une ankile di terafimi. Adi adi kenze kane nyakamela. Une adutsi hudimatsona. Labane abatlisisa tente ka hohle aseke a difumana ya ba ragele o re ho ntatae morena wa me aseke a halifa ha ke sitwa ho ema pulaha o ho bane ke na le seo basadi bana le sona a batla diterafeme me aseke a dibona praise the lord second generation First generation, my mother lied to God. That is Sarah, right? Second generation, Rachel lied about God. She lied. She said, I'm on my period. I can't stand because she was hiding the idols of her father. She lied. She lied. This issue became a pattern in the family. It kept on repeating and repeating. I want to ask you, people of God, as you are listening to me, what is that demonic pattern that has built itself in your lineage? Some of you, Baba Mbaluna, alcohol is not really your thing. You can feel if you, even when you try to drink, that is not your thing. But your generation, oh. you can you can feel it in you that you don't have peace when you are drunk. But your generation, what is the pattern in your family? The pattern, the cases that are delaying your progress. The Bible says we should not conform to the patterns of this world. But we look at them because they are done in our eyes. We live as if it's normal. Why 
What is the pattern that needs to be addressed in your family? Na ke into e tlamileng e tshosha jone le yona la pen la heno. Everybody starts a business. Motho e molemong o qala gwebo. Few months later. Ka mo ga gweditse malwa e yawa. You look into your family. O shaba la pen la heno. Your 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 mother Mewa hao is the third wife to your father. Ke mosadi wa boraro ho ntate wa hao. You ask your grandmother. O putsa ngkhono wa hao. Your grandmother was the third wife. Ngkhono wa hao lena le le mosadi wa wa boraro. Ho ntate mo lo wa hao. You failed twice in marriage. O tlhole ile ha pedi le nyalong. You are on the third marriage now and it's tough. O le nyalo la boraro tswale me go bima. Let me tell you. Ha re go bolelle. This battle it is the battle of ages. You need to stand and fight. You need to stand and break that generational case. Are you happy with where you are? Na o tabile ka mo o lenteng. Are you happy with how things are going in your life? Na o tabile ka tsela e o di ntodi etsa ha la mo pelo ba ha. Let's just talk about your children. Ha re shebe fela bana ba ha. Some of you you have children, your own children. Ba 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 lona lena le bana ba na be le mba ha o. Three of them. Ba ba ra ro ba bona. Three of them. Ba ba ra ro ba bona. They they left school. Ba kretse skolo. Can't you see that something is wrong there? Na how bona hona le ntwe fosa hetse mo. There is a curse that is building up there. Hona le tu ha ko e ka ha mo. Remember when a curse come it will not only affect them. If you can't fight for them, remember the curse the last span of a curse is how many generations? Four generations. If you are looking at it and it is happening, it's happening under you, you are watching it. Ha yetsa hala pela ha we shebile. Think about the generation. Na hana kamelo ko etlang. Because if if there's nobody who's fighting that case, it will follow the generation yet and born. Ho ba ne house na motu ya lwantsa ntwa ho ko yewe etla fitela ho melo ko e so hlai. Your children all of them they go to school. They they don't finish. They they just leave school. All of them. Bana ba ho ka o fela ha bona ba ya sekolong empa ha ba setseti. And you think it's normal? Me ona na ke ntwe tla ile ileng. All your children. Bana ba ha ka o fela. None of them has a metric certificate. Ha ona ya na list certificate sa metric. And we say it's normal. Me re re ke ntwe tla ile ileng. No. No, people of God. All your children they are girls. They 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 find partners after they find partners they get married and they come back home and we say it's normal all of your children come back home it's normal some of you you are the only one now in marriage in your family your siblings went back home and you too you can feel say you can feel ma but it is not easy you want to quit it is a battle of ages it is a battle of ages somebody must stand to correct that error Say it ends with me. I can hear you say it ends with me.